with people who are connected to neighbors with septic tanks. So it causes a lot of stress, it causes a lot of ill will, a lot of bad feeling, and I've been in the same situation myself. In fact, this is how I got into the septic tank business. So in this tip of the day, I'm gonna show you how to break free from your neighbor's septic tank. It may seem a big ordeal to you and this and that, but let me show you a really easy way in which you can become separate from your neighbor's septic tank, from your shared system, and uh, literally um, set yourself free, become liberated, okay? So here's the typical scenario. So you've got two houses here, all right? House A, house B. So let's say you're connected to a neighbor's septic tank and you're on a shared system, okay? And this is you here. So what have we got here? Well, this is your pipe from your property. So all your wastewater, all your tap water, your sink water, your B-Day water, your washing machine, dishwasher, all your wastewater, toilet water, will leave your property here and it will head down this pipe towards their septic tank. So here's their sewage system, okay? So their sewage system, this is just a typical illustration, right? Representation. I'm not saying all septic tank and soakaway systems look like this, but the principle is the same, all right? So all their wastewater from your neighbors, right, will go down there, down the pipe, waste pipe. It goes into their septic tank and then it drains away. I was just saying I forgot a blue pen, but I haven't. Um, but all their liquid will drain away into the soak away there. So basically, you're just literally spurring in or tapping in to their system. All right. And the reason why this causes lots of problems. Oh, well, let me give you a typical scenario about me. I got married and moved into a, 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 a terraced house, a Victorian terraced house, and we were connected to um, someone else's sewage system. Now, they had a cesspool, so they didn't even have a soak away. So this cesspool would literally fill up once a week. And so the people in the house here would get it emptied every week all right and so i moved into the property i'd never been connected to a septic tank before so i didn't know what to expect but i started getting all these bills for like 50 60 pound a week for emptying costs i thought flipping heck no way is this what it's like to have a septic tank but then all right for some strange reason right the people started emptying their tank like even more frequently. And then the price of emptying, it went up from like 60 to 90 pound a time. And it and over the course of six months, you imagine this, right? Imagine you've got to spend 60 or 90 quid out every week just to get the cesspool empty, whether it was full or not, right? But I was at the behest, I was literally held ransom by my neighbors. They wouldn't speak to me, they didn't, you know, I hadn't done anything wrong, I hadn't got angry with them or anything like that, but look, they were just a particular, peculiar kind of people, all right? I'm not criticizing them, but I'm just saying, I was tied into their system and it was costing me almost a hundred pound a week, right? A, a bleed, and it started to make me ill after six months, right, after 12 months. I just, I just, you know, I just didn't know what to do anymore. Anyway, cut long story short, I, I, I got in contact with a, 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 a septic tank consultant. He came round to me and he said, why don't you put your own septic tank and soak away in? I thought, by me, okay, yeah, okay, that sounds a good idea. Uh, how, how do I do that? Anyway, so I did a load of research and I found, I, I got whatever permissions I needed. Um, I found out what tank I needed, how a soak away was. Anyway, I did all this research, it took me quite a few months. And then I got my own septic tank and soak away and I cut myself off from my neighbor's system. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So first of all, I'm just gonna show you the principle on here. Then I'm gonna show you um, a, a computer generated um, example of how easy it is for you to cut yourself off from your neighbor's system. So this is the principle now. All right, so if the septic tank that you're connected to, your neighbors, whoever, wherever it's going, right? Let's say you're connected to someone else's system, right? And the septic tank that you're going into was 
in the ground installed before the 1st of Jan 2015, you do not need any permission whatsoever to put your own septic tank in. I'll just say that again. If the septic tank that you're connected to, the shared system you're connected to, if your neighbor's septic tank was in the ground installed before the 1st of Jan 2015, you can put your own septic tank in without any needing any applications or permissions from the government whatsoever. Full stop, that's the law, all right? So let's pretend this septic tank was installed prior to the 1st of Jan 2015. This is all you need to do, all right? It's as simple as this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute, right? You literally, uh, and this is obviously de dependent on where you're gonna put it in the garden, but I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake, right? All you need to do, right? So your house will have a soil pipe. So what that means is all the, all the wastewater from your bathroom, from, from the kitchen, from whatever, will go down the side of the house maybe into a soil pipe, which comes out to there, right? So all the water will leave your kitchen and leave your bathroom. It'll go down this soil pipe, right? So, and then, okay. And then that, this soil pipe, this soil pipe is the pipe at the moment that is connected to your neighbor's septic tank, okay? So all that you do is run a new pipe from this soil pipe. So just stay connected to that for the moment, right? But just run a new pipe. You don't have to connect anything as yet. But imagine this is a manhole chamber here. So we're looking down on an aerial view now. It's like we're looking straight down. So this is like I'm flying in an airplane or a helicopter a few feet above your garden and we're looking straight down on it. So it's like a, I don't know, a 50 foot view or something looking straight down. All right, so that's the top of your manhole chamber. So just run your pipe straight down, dig a hole for your septic tank, put your septic tank in, and then just put a soak away in. Okay, and then connect, once you've done that, connect your pipe to your soil pipe and literally disconnect yourself from their, the pipe going into their septic tank, okay? You don't need permission to do that and it's really simple and easy to do. And that is how you can connect and set up and install your own septic tank. But let me, that was, as I said, I just, that was for illustrative purposes. Let me show you now how easy it is to install your own septic tank and soak away. Okay, so let me show you how easy it is to do. So let's say this is your house here, all right? And remember we're talking about a soil pipe. Well, let's say your soil pipe is round about here. So the first thing that you need to do, which we talked about, is to dig a trench. That's quite easy to do. So literally just dig a trench from your soil pipe to where you want to put your septic tank, all right? So then once you've done that, literally all you have to do then is dig a hole for the septic tank. Okay, let me just zoom out here a bit. Okay, so there you go. That's pretty simple straight far, isn't it? That's pretty simple so far. So there's your trench and there's your hole for your septic tank. Now it gets even easier. Have a watch of this, right? Have a look at this. Then you dig, oh, let me just get this up here. Then you dig another small hole for your inspection chamber, and then you just dig a small hole for your soak away. So let me just give you an aerial view, all right? So your builder, this is so easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this, all right, and, and uh, where to get the products to do this for, but typically, those are the shallow holes that your builder has to dig. He has to dig a shallow hole for the trench, one for the tank, one for the inspection chamber, and one for your soak away. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually gonna zoom in now and show you what to put in these holes. So let's just dig this away here as a cutaway section, all right? So the first thing that you've got to do is just put your low profile. Well, in fact, before I put the tank in the hole, let me make it even easier. For you here. First of all, you just need to lay your pipe in the trench. There you go. So you lay your pipe from your house down into your trench. All right. Then, once you've done that, all that you need to do is install a low profile 
um, bullet kind of shaped septic tank. So let me put the tank in. There you go. So that's the septic tank in. That's pretty straightforward so far, isn't it? Okay. Then once you've done that, this is the outlet pipe for your septic tank. You just literally uh, put a pipe from your outlet pipe and then connect it to an inspection chamber. All right, that's pretty straightforward. So there you go. So pipe into the tank. There's your tank. Pipe out from the tank and then into your inspection chamber. And then last of all, look at this. Watch this. You won't believe this. All right, here we go. Put some membrane down. <clears throat> then install the septic tank soaker away crates. Look at that. How easy is that or what? ta -da! All right, now these aren't rainwater crates. These are special septic tank soak away crates which i'm going to show you a bit more about in a minute but then what you just do then once you've done that right you uh, put a pipe from the inspection chamber just put it so it's inserted into the crates there and then what you do with the septic tank soak away crates you just cover them with membrane job done it really is as simple as that and then you don't need any concrete with this low profile septic tank all that you do is literally backfill around it with shingle 20 to 30 mil whoops sorry sorry 20 to 30 mil granular backfill so let me show you an overview now let me just put this cutaway section back on so this is now what your septic tank and soak away will look like so there's your trench coming from your house going into your septic tank so let's just follow this down let's just follow this down nice and slow all right, so let's just come out a bit here. All right, so that's your trench to your soil pipe. And you've put your pipe into that. So your pipe goes straight that directly into your septic tank. It goes from there into your inspection chamber. And then from there into the septic tank soak away crates. And you know what? When you're done, just cover everything over with topsoil. It really is as easy as that cover the membrane over with soil, you cover the chamber over with soil, then you cover your pipe over with soil, and then you cover your trench over with soil. It's as simple as that. No electricity needed, no wires. And there you go, you've got your entire complete septic tank soak away system. That, so you're now cut off from your neighbor. But let me show you this, right? If you're wondering, you're thinking, oh, okay, that's very well how to do it, but let me show you how easy it is all you need to do is go to septictank.co.uk septictank.co.uk then while you're there get yourself just click scroll down the screen and click on the septic tank and soak away kits so just click that all right so then that will load up and then you've got a choice of septic tank soak away kits so let's say you've gone for the one to two bedroom one let's just show you here and here you go. So instead of having to spend four, five, six, seven thousand quid on Vibinec, a septic tank and soak away and someone putting it in, these entire septic tank and soak away kits are 1499. 1499. I mean, this price was unheard of a year or two years ago. So you're saving yourself three and a half, four and a half thousand quid. So on this septic tank and soak away kit, you get the, everything. You get everything. You get the pipe work. Let me show you. Let me scroll down. Right, so what you get, you get your five times your three meters of pipe. You get your German inspection chamber. You get the tank. You get the crates, right? You get the membrane, free membrane with it, all right? And so you literally just follow the instructions. You've got a video here as well, another video which shows you how to install that. You can watch that. But the point is, if you get yourself one of these septic tank and soak away kits, you'll literally save yourself thousands and thousands of pounds. So there you go. That's my tip of the day. So I hope this helps. If you're looking to cut yourself off from your neighbor's septic tank and, um, and you want a, 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 a legal, uh, cost-effective way of finding a solution to that, then just go to septictank.co.uk and get yourself a septic tank and soak away kit.